What's up, YouTube? Coach John Wolf here from Onnit, and today we're gonna cover the 10 best kettlebell exercises for beginners. One, the kettlebell deadlift. This is a foundational movement. It teaches fundamental hip hinge mechanics. You're gonna sit your butt back, maintain a nice long spine, and learn to pick something off the ground. The glutes and the hamstrings are particularly worked through the deadlift. We're gonna use this exercise as the foundation for all of our future kettlebell exercises. This is how you'll do it right. Step one, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, keeping a long spine from your head to your tailbone. Pull your hips back and allow your knees to bend as needed until you reach the kettlebell handle. Grasp the handle with both hands and drive your shoulders down and back as if stuffing your shoulder blades into your back pockets. Think proud chest so the logo on your t-shirt shows. Step two, drive your heels into the floor and stand tall, extending your hips to lock out. Exhale as you come up. Now number two on our hit list is the kettlebell chest swing. We're gonna hold the kettlebell close to our front line. We're gonna load up our hips early with a high hip hinge. This is gonna really work those glutes and lengthen out those hamstrings at a whole nother range of motion. Step one, stand with feet between hip and shoulder width and root your feet. Hold the kettlebell by its horns, pulling the bottom of the bell into your abdomen just below your sternum. Draw your shoulder blades together and down, proud chest, and cast your eyes on a spot on the floor approximately 15 feet in front of you. Take a deep breath into your belly and brace your core. Step two, tilt your tailbone upward slightly so your pelvis tips forward a bit. Keep a long spine, pull your hips straight back as if you're trying to touch your butt to the wall behind you. Allow your knees to bend as needed. Step three, when you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, exhale and push your feet down into the floor, extending your hips and squeezing your glutes. This will tuck your tailbone under as you lock out your hips and knees. Here we are at number three on the hit list, the kettlebell goblet squat, where the first two exercises really reinforce sitting back into our hips. The squat is gonna have us sit down. And what that really does is allows us to sit down with the more vertical and upright torso reinforcing good squatting mechanics, getting low and deep into those hips, and loading up the front of those thighs. You should feel your quads burning as you build up volume in the kettlebell squats. Step one, hold the kettlebell by its horns and drive your shoulder blades together and downward so your chest is open. Think proud chest. Tuck your elbows in so your forearms are as vertical as possible. Stand with feet a bit wider than hip width apart and your toes turned out slightly. Take a deep breath into your belly and twist your feet into the floor. Imagine screwing them down without shifting their position. Step two, now squat. Keeping your spine long and your torso upright, go as low as you can without your tailbone tucking under your butt. Step three, exhale as you extend your hips and knees to stand up tall again. Number four, we have the kettlebell split stance row. We're gonna split our stance for stability but we're really focused on all of our pulling musculature, the forearm flexor, the biceps, you know what I'm saying? And all those muscles you can't see in a mirror on the backside of our shoulder blades gives us a nice V taper. Step one, place the kettlebell on the floor and take a staggered stance with your right foot in front and planted just outside the weight. The toes on both feet should face forward. Dig the ball of your left foot into the floor behind you and bend at the hips so your torso is angled about 45 degrees to the floor. Rest your right elbow on your thigh for support and reach for the kettlebell with your left hand. Take a deep breath into your belly and brace your core. Step two, exhale as you row the kettlebell to your hip. Draw your shoulder blade back and down as you pull and avoid twisting your torso. Keep your shoulders square to the floor. Step three, lower the weight under control. Complete all your reps on that side and then repeat on the other side. Number five, the kettlebell cheat clean. You know what they say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. Well, in this case, we're really trying to make it easy for you to learn a kettlebell clean while using this full body exercise to move the kettlebell from the ground all the way up to what we call the rack and set us up for more awesome upper body exercises. Step one, set up as you did for the deadlift, but grasp the kettlebell handle with the right hand over left, palms facing each other. Step two, drive your heels into the floor and stand tall, wrapping the kettlebell around your left wrist and up to your left shoulder as you stand up. 
use the right hand for assistance. Step three, reverse the motion to return the kettlebell to the floor. Perform all reps on this side before changing grips and performing the movement on the other side. Number six, the kettlebell strict press. This uses all the muscles from the ground up as a foundation for one of the best upper body exercises you can do. The overhead motion is challenging. It'll build shoulder mobility and strength at the same time. Step one, stand tall, holding the kettlebell in one hand at shoulder level. Root your feet into the floor as if you were preparing for someone to push you. Draw your shoulder blades back and down, think proud chest, Pull your ribs down and brace your core. Take a deep breath into your belly. Step two, exhale as you press the weight overhead with your forearm vertical. Your elbow will naturally move away from your side and the press will feel like an around the world motion. That's okay. Note that your chin should be pulled back so the weight has no trouble clearing it. Step three, to lower the kettlebell, pull it back down into position as if you were performing a pull-up. Complete all your reps on that side and then repeat on the other side. Lucky number seven, kettlebell halo. This exercise is awesome to incorporate more shoulder mobility, moving the kettlebell around the head, hence the name of halo. But guess what? It's not just about shoulder mobility. You're gonna have a nice braced core while you do this correctly, while making sure you keep that core engaged the whole time. Step one, stand with feet between hip and shoulder width and hold the kettlebell by its horns upside down. The bell's bottom should face up. Screw your feet to the floor, get into your proud chest position, tuck your ribs down and brace your core. Take a deep breath into your belly. Step two, exhale as you begin moving the kettlebell around your head. Being careful to maintain your posture and not bend your torso in any direction. Move slowly to avoid whacking yourself in the head. Make a full circle, continue in this direction, complete all your repetitions before repeating in the other direction. Eight, the around the hip pass. This is essentially a hip halo. So we're continuing that theme of moving the kettlebell in a circle around our body. In this case, it's a hang position. So it's gonna pull the shoulders down away from the ears, really load up and stretch out those traps while we get a good sense of dynamic stability and control of the kettlebell moving around our body and staying right where our feet are, staying stable and strong at our base. Step one. Set up as you did for the shoulder halo, but hold the kettlebell by the handle at arm's length in one hand and make circles around your hips, passing the bell to the other hand and then back again. Perform your reps in one direction and then repeat in the opposite direction. Number nine, the kettlebell figure eight. This is really gonna reinforce lower body strength and stability. Constantly working the thighs because you're in an isometric squat. Thighs are gonna be burning as you pass the kettlebell from around one leg to the other. This is gonna set you up for a whole slew of awesome transitions you'll have access to after you develop this pass. Step one, set up as you did for the deadlift, but grasp the kettlebell with your left hand. Step two, extend your hips just enough to lift the kettlebell off the floor and pass it back between your legs to the right hand. Move the bell around your right leg to the front of your body and back through your legs again, passing it to the left hand. Continue passing the kettlebell back and forth in a figure eight motion. Be sure to keep your knees bent so you're low to the ground and keeping tension on your quads the whole time. Number 10, the kettlebell floor press. Not everybody has the shoulder mobility to press overhead effectively, so we're gonna let you press horizontally which will likely result in a more successful lockout. Full range of motion, loading up the triceps, and of course, those pecs. Step one, lie on your back on your floor with the kettlebell in one hand. Bend your knees and plant your feet. Flatten your lower back into the floor, brace your core and squeeze your glutes. Position your free arm 45 degrees to your side, bend the elbow 90 degrees, and drive your elbow into the floor to create stability. Step two, Lower your arm until your triceps touch the floor, but not the elbow. Don't let your elbow crash down. Pause a moment under tension and then press the kettlebell back overhead. So there you have it. 10 of my favorite kettlebell exercises for beginners. These are awesome because they only require one kettlebell 
and an easy entry point for you to build some serious skill with the kettlebell. Now, before you go, make sure you click above right here if you want more fitness content coming your way. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. And hey, we wanna hear from you. So comment below, let us know what you thought of this video and what you wanna see in the future.